Hi, I'm Sebastian Gomes, host of Salton Lights Book Show Subject Matters, and here's my take on women deacons, past, present, and future, women in ministry, emerging questions about the diaconate, and women deacons, essays with answers, authored or edited by Phyllis Zagano. Now, Phyllis is one of the leading experts, the leading scholars in this question of women deacons. And that might sound strange to you because, as we know, the Catholic Church does not currently ordain women to the diaconate. But that was not always the case. We have St. Paul writing in his letter to the Romans and letter to Timothy speaking about women deacons. We also have some of the church fathers in the patristic period talking about women deacons. And we even have some liturgical rubrics from those early centuries and into the Middle Ages uh, that describe the ceremony of women being ordained deacons, and that goes all the way up until about the 12th century. Now, while there's overwhelming evidence for women deacons in the first thousand years of Christianity, scholars disagree on what the term deacon really meant. So do we understand it the same way we understand the permanent diaconate, which is only for men today? Well, the evidence is not conclusive. And that's why Pope Francis, in August of 2016, formed a commission to study this question, and Phyllis was one of the people that he appointed to that commission. So it's fascinating to know that this thing is happening in real time. The commission is still a sitting commission, so they're studying it as we speak. Um, now the books, a little bit about the books. These two books are very accessible, foundational information for, for just getting your feet wet in this topic. They're very readable. There's good theology in them, obviously, as well, but you'll really get a sense of what are the big questions that people are asking about women deacons today. This book, Women Deacons Essays with Answers, a little bit more theological. It's a little bit more challenging to get through. There's a lot of study of, you know, the, the language, so there's a lot of classical Greek in it. Now, these three books together bring you right into the conversation. So when you're done reading them, you're going to be familiar with the history, you're going to know what the key questions are, and you're going to know what the official church statements over the last 50 years have been. So to bring you right up to speed. Now, I was surprised to learn that in the last 50 years, no definitive statement against the ordination of women deacons has been made by a recent pope. Think about that for a second. John Paul II, who said categorically no to women priests, never said no definitively to women deacons. Neither did Benedict XVI, and now we have Francis and his commission who's studying this question. So this is all very fascinating. With these three books, you can study the evidence and start to form your own opinion about the matter and we'll see what happens. So enjoy reading Women Deacons, Past, Present, and Future, Women in Ministry, Emerging Questions about the Diaconate, and Women Deacons, Essays with Answers, by or edited by Phyllis Sagano.